What's up everybody and welcome to the Sanctuary of Satisfaction. I'm going to give you the rundown of what all nine of our award-winning products are like. Quick description, just kind of let you know what you're going to get when you put those TDs in your face. I'm TD, this is TD's Brew & Barbecue. Here at TD's Brew and Barbecue, nine award-winning flavors. These flavors start out from a regular vinegar-based barbecue sauce all the way into a sweet and spicy powder. We can go in there, everything is in between. You can go in there, you can rub those meats with uh, any type of dry rub, any combination of the rub and the sauces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly introduce you to each and every one of the uh, nine products. So the first thing I'm gonna hit you with is the original, also known as the OG. This is gonna be your classic vinegar-based barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce is gonna be made with vinegar and brown sugar. It's gonna be sweet and tangy, and it's gonna put a real nice glaze on the top of, of, of your meats there. But you're not gonna really get it to thicken up, but it's gonna be nice and sticky. Next, we're gonna go into our award-winning cellar mustard. This guy is a three-time international runner-up barbecue sauce. This barbecue sauce right here placed second in the World Series of Barbecue in 2019, second in the Scobies, and it also took second in the Old Boney, uh, Old Boney Mountain uh, Hot Sauce Barbecue Sauce competition uh, just recently this past month. This is gonna be your vinegar-based barbecue sauce, but it's also gonna be made with a mustard instead of a uh, traditional ketchup or um, your uh, tomato paste, like would be in most of your traditional barbecue sauces. This is gonna be your South Carolina style. This is where you're at, your vinegar and your mustard all in one. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna hit you with the Atomic Pineapple. The Atomic Pineapple is gonna be a spicy, sweet version of the original sauce. It's gonna, you're gonna get the heat from the sriracha and the red pepper, as well as the real trunk chunks of uh, crushed pineapple that are in there. So when you put this on your meat, uh, you're gonna notice that there's gonna, it's gonna be kind of chunky inside there, but that's the real chunks of the crushed pineapple. You're also gonna see the, um, the red pepper flakes in there as well. This is gonna be great with, on any type of grilled meat as a dipping sauce, or even if you just pour it over a block of cream cheese and eat it with crackers. Now we go into the cherry chipotle, uh, which I should have told you the heat on the atomic pineapple is probably only about a two or a three. It's very mild. It's not gonna set you on fire. It is gonna put you in the ring and make you go about 12 rounds before it decides that it's done with you. Uh, now we're gonna go into the cherry chipotle. I think the cherry chipotle edges the atomic pineapple in heat probably just by a little bit. Um, this, this stuff right here, it's, it's the cherry in there. It's got a kiss of wild cherry in there. And then all your smokiness and the heat does come directly from the chipotle peppers. This is just another kicked up version of the OG sauce. This guy right here is going to give you a nice deep purple, red, reddish purple color. Uh, when you put it on your grilled meats and you let it thicken up, you're going to get the same consistency as you do with the original of the atomic pineapple and the southern mustard. Uh, one thing I do want to let you know, if the atomic pineapple or the southern mustard are a little too warm for you, um, say you like it, it's just too hot, go ahead and mix it with some of the original uh, with the OG sauce. All, like I said, that's all it is, is just another amped up version of the original sauce. So the original sauce is gonna cut it down without compromising the flavor. So next, now all four of these guys are available here in, um, in what we call the Get Sauce Bundle. Um, the Get Sauce Bundle is all four of the uh, TD's Brew and Barbecue, uh, barbecue sauces. So next we're gonna go into our dry rubs. Of course the dry rub, the most popular product that we have, the best selling product we have is the Carni Sutra. What this guy is, this is an amped up salt, pepper, and garlic. You're gonna use this on your steaks, you're gonna use this on your briskets, you're gonna use it on chicken, you're gonna use it on french fries. Anything that you would normally salt and pepper, you're gonna put this on top of it because this is gonna take that salt and pepper shaker and just throw it away. You don't need it anymore. That's all you're gonna use is Carni Sutra once you get this off, once you get this in your hands. So the one thing I do want to uh, mention there, the Carni Sutra is made with crushed garlic and crushed black pepper. Um, you're not gonna get um, a granulated garlic, it is an actual crushed garlic. So when you see on the pictures and on the videos or anything that we use the Carni Sutra on, you're gonna see the big pieces of garlic on there when they come off the grill, they're nice and crunchy. You're gonna get that little bite on there. And then of course the way that the salts 
and the, um, the butter flake as well as some of the other seasonings that we use in the Carne Sutra, it's going to give you a really nice crust. So notice I did say with some butter flake in there as well, there is some butter flake in there. So once you put it on your meat, let it set for a couple minutes, that butter is going to melt on it and then when you put your steak on that grill, it's going to be a nice good sear. Uh, next thing you know, next thing we got here, uh, we got the uh, Sweet Barbecue Love. Now the Sweet Barbecue Love is going to be sweet, there's no heat in it at all. This is what you're going to primarily use on your on your pork butts, on your ribs, on your pork chops, anything that you're going to want that sweet and salty mix on, this is what you're going to get. You put this on your ribs, you're going to get that color. Now the color that the, that the, uh, the Sweet Barbecue Love puts off, once it sits there for a couple minutes and sweats into that meat, you're going to get an awesome pink glaze out of that right there and it, the color is magnificent. This, like I said, is a brown sugar and smoked paprika based seasoning. So this is where you're gonna get, you're gonna get your hints of celery and your hints of uh, garlic in there as well. But right here, most, uh, a lot of kids, they love this one, they love this. You put it on chicken, you put it on bacon, you put it on anything that you want to put it on, just sprinkle it on there afterwards and you're gonna get um, a real sugary sweet taste. Um, put it on your meat, slow and slow, let them cook, and you're gonna get that nice crust because it is sweet and like it is made with the sugar. Uh, next thing we got here, we have our zesty taco seasoning. The zesty taco seasoning is gonna be my version of a Southwest style seasoning, but you also can put it in your ground meat. You could mix it in your ground meat, a couple tablespoons for every uh, pound that you got. You can add up or less with depending on how you want it. You're gonna get a lot of dehydrated onion and garlic in here. So what's gonna happen is once you cook it in with that meat, that onion and that garlic is going to rehydrate and you're gonna basically think that you just chopped up some fresh onion and threw it in there while you were, while you were cooking that hamburger meat. We also sprinkle this on top of some chicken breast. We grill the chicken breast, we put it on steak. Um, we've also even uh, put it on uh, shrimp and seafood. It's just a Southwest style seasoning. It says zesty taco because tacos are acceptable every day of the week. Why not call it something taco? Uh, sounds a lot cooler than Southwest style, right? Well, one thing that we do with this, we also mix a few tablespoons of this in with a bottle of ranch dressing, and it takes those two o'clock in the morning pizza rolls like to a whole new level. You know what I'm saying, because if, I'm, if you're laughing at this, you know which pizza rolls I'm talking about. So that's the zesty taco. Uh, next, we're gonna get into some things that are a little bit more specialty than these other ones here. Um, these three right here, they are available um, in a, uh, what we call the menage a trois bundle, uh, which is all three. I'm working on a brisket video coming up here pretty soon. It is going to use all three. It is going to be a layer of the carne sutra, a layer of the sweet barbecue love, and a layer of the zesty taco. That's why we call it the menage a trois. You get all three on there, you're gonna get one of the best parks that you can find in the barbecue biz by using all three of these right then and right there. Um, so now we're gonna get into our specialty blends. Since I am from New Mexico and we are a New Mexico based company, you can see the Zia symbol on the shirt, on the logos that we have. Um, New Mexico certified hatch green chili is very important here in New Mexico. That's why when the three chili cilantro does use authentic certified hatch green chilies um, and red chili, sorry, it's a three chili. So you're gonna get red chili, green chili from hatch, and then you're gonna have your jalapeno and your serrano in there, along with some garlic, some lime, and um, some cilantro in there. There's there's quite a bit going on. You're gonna treat this just like you would a dry salsa. Uh, if you wanna put it on eggs, you wanna put it on chicken, you wanna put it on shrimp, seafood, it is really awesome on seafood. That's probably one of my personal favorite things to put it on, other than just sprinkle it on top of my mac and cheese. Anything super cheesy, anything that's gonna be kind of moist on there, you sprinkle this on top, it's gonna set in there and you're gonna get that authentic hatch green chili and red chili flavors that you can only get from the hatch green chili. Uh, I know in Colorado they have a green chili they claim is superior but that is the funniest joke anyone in New Mexico has ever heard because they don't even spell it right. Chili, green chili, and chili outside, there's a different spelling for all three. That's C-H-I-L-E for hatch green chili. So this right here, guys, this thing is slowly getting in there and it's creeping up on a lot of people. Um, the heat on it is probably about a two or a three. It's gonna let you know, but once it peaks, it stays right there no matter how much more you eat. So I go ahead and sprinkle this on any of your grilled meats, uh, anything afterwards. It's great uh, just on uh, in the micheladas. We mix it with the micheladas with the green chili beer. Uh, and it turns out fantastic. This is just gonna be just as much of a topical seasoning as salt and pepper like with the carne sutra. 
So the next thing we got here, I got the habanero honey mango. You like the heat, you like the sweet, this is the guy right here. This thing, the second ingredient on the list is habanero powder. So it is going to let you know that it's not playing around. Uh, be sure that first things first, be sure that you uh, read it. It says do not inhale uh, because if you get it up in your face, it will burn. It will, it will definitely uh, uh, mess you up on that one. So this uses a granulated honey powder inside here. So there's gonna be chunks of honey, like little granulated pieces of honey. So once you pour it over your meat and you let it sweat for a few minutes, that honey is gonna dissolve back into being a honey again. So especially when you go to throw it up on the grill and you let it and you let it burn, it's gonna burn that honey. It's more like a creme brulee kind of style bark that you're gonna get on those items that you're sprinkling on. I also, excuse me, I also use it just as a uh, seasoning that we have here. Um, I like it on fresh pineapple. I like it on fresh mango. I've also thrown some on some mangoes and then grilled them there. Man, they turn out pretty awesome. Um, the, anything else uh, I can think of like the shrimp, uh, the shrimp and your wings. This is what's gonna give you that nice sweet heat really kick. So if you're using the atomic pineapple and the cherry chipotle and you want that little extra step, do you some wings, throw this bad guy on here right there, throw those wings up and then finish them off with one of these two. Man, you're really gonna take that sweet heat and you're gonna throw it up to the top. These three items, the atomic pineapple, the cherry chipotle, and the habanero honey mango are all also available in what we call the sadistic fruit bundle. The fruits that like the heat, that love inflicting pain on you and watching you burn. These guys will take advantage of you and let you have your fun. That's how it goes. These guys, this guy right here, like I said, be careful. It says right on the label, it's hot, it's sweet, and it's juicy in all caps with the exclamation points. Oh, did we mention it's hot, sweet, and juicy? There is a reason why that says that on there because if anybody wants to know if, uh, if it's hot, this is hot. Even if you're a chili head, it's gonna have enough heat where you're gonna like the flavor that you're getting from it. If you're a non-chili head, be careful because this thing will light you up. So right now, the bundles that we have online, that's all nine of the products. So let me kind of introduce you guys to the bundles. So like I mentioned, we have the Get Sauce bundle, which is all four of the sauces. We have the uh, Menage a Trois, which is the three uh, big, big TDs that we have here. We also have the Dynamic Duo, which is gonna be your Habanero Honey Mango and your three Chili Cilantro, just those two guys right there. We also have the Rub It Dry bundle, which is gonna be all of the uh, dry seasonings. So you're gonna get all three of the big ones plus the specialty ones all in one bundle right there. Then we have the six pack bundle. The six pack bundle is going to be the three original sauces. That's minus the cherry chipotle. So you're gonna get the OG, the Southern mustard, and you're gonna get the uh, atomic pineapple with a can of carne sutra, a can of the uh, sweet barbecue love, and then also a can of the zesty taco. And it's gonna come in a really badass six pack carrier. Uh, that's one of our best selling gifts, especially for birthdays, uh, Christmas, anything like that. It comes in a six pack bundle and who doesn't want to get a six pack and let alone a six pack of TDs, right? So the other item that, the last item that we have that is available is we have the everything you want because it is literally everything that you want. It is one of each of all nine flavors. You also have the option to throw in a koozie if you want because who likes more beer? If you like more beer, you can check the, check the box on there and you don't have to get a koozie. Um, but other than that, man, all nine of these bundles, uh, or sorry, all nine of these products are available individually or by any bottle, bundle. Um, just go over to the website at tdsbrewingbarbecue.com, take a peek at it, get your hands on some TDs, and get them home, and throw me a line, let me know what you think. Uh, and go ahead in the comments and just tell me right now if, uh, which one is your favorite and uh, which one you're most excited to try if you haven't tried it yet. So get over to tdsbrewingbarbecue.com right now where it's not just life changing, it's also lunch changing. Thanks guys.